Today we're going to take a quick tour of my setup where I play games, do the Linux Tech and Gaming podcast, and where I generally just be chilling out at. So right here you can see my triple monitor setup. This is uh, random monitors that I found on sale or wherever I got my monitors from. And it worked for me. I'm not paying a heap of money. Now over here is the other side of my desk where I can actually sit, lay down, and watch uh, YouTube videos, Twitch videos, or movies, or whatever. I can spin my speakers around too so they're facing the proper direction. Uh, here is the graveyard of PCs that I have. Just random PCs with random things in it. My piano so I can act like I know how to play it sometimes. Um, a table where I keep junk or stuff, miscellaneous stuff, you know, memory video cards, extra stuff, tape. Uh, tubing that's my modem um, over here is just a corner with some headphones and my air coolers from the well, that I got extracted from my my build that's now water cooled and some books and games from back in the day back back in the day uh, a closer look at the cooler master hyper 212 that I ran on my computer for years love this thing uh, here is the super Lux 681 Evos uh, HD great pieces of headphones for 35 bucks I believe they were 40 bucks um, this is the native instruments machine which is uh, basically a drum pad of sorts um, for making music if you if you're into that type of thing now here is the mobile I mean the M audio mobile pre mark 2 which is the audio interface for my microphones or any other input devices like uh, instruments or keyboards, or musical keyboards like a piano, uh, guitars. And as you can see, it's two channel. It can also take in line, line level inputs in the back, which are quarter inch jacks for like a guitar. Uh, and it also is a pseudo mixer of sorts. Now here is old dusty trusty. That is the Logitech G110. I not, uh, I've had this thing for years, and I don't know if I've got. I don't even know if I'm going to mechanical anytime soon because it just it just works, uh, and I don't have a problem with it. And of course, old Dusty Trusty has to have a, a friend, which is Dusty Trusty, or what's Trusty Dusty? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Logitech G400 uh, mouse, uh, which I've had I think longer than the keyboard, and it just works. Yes, it's a little bit dirty in the cracks. Uh, here is another Logitech piece of goodness, which is the Pro 9000, I believe it's called, uh, webcam. And it has a Carl Zeiss lens. It's, it's a really good camera, uh, and I love it. So here is my studio monitors. These are the M-Audio AV30s, I believe. And they are studio monitors, meaning that they uh, replicate music in more accurate form instead of a more loud form. And so these are like flat uh, EQ curved speakers. Um, this is my uh, my rig, which is housed inside of a Define R4 from Fractal Design. It's the blackout edition uh, of the case. Love that case. And inside the case, we have um, lots of things. So as you can see, I have the Swiftec H220X uh, water kit and the EKG uh, GPU block with uh, extra 120 millimeter radiator in the front. This is the water reservoir that is attached to that radiator. The i5 3570K, the GTX 780, and the XFX Pro Core 650 watt. As you can see, here is where the uh, other radiator is mounted. There is no optical drives because optical drives are so five years ago, people. Anyways, here's the uh, all Corsair fans in the well, not all, but here's a Corsair fan uh, in the back and in the bottom. And a close look up at the reservoir. It has a tint of greenish, but other people with uh, water cooling kits said theirs did that also. These are the Helix fans that come with the Swift Tech kit. Really great fans. Uh, they're comparable to um, the Noctuas, so I've heard. I don't have any Noctuas, so I don't know. Uh, this is the front of the case with the Xbox controller plugged in. 
And here's a side shot of the 50 millimeter um, drivers that are inside of the Superlux HD681 Evos. And the padding, the top padding to those same headphones. And these are my other studio monitors that I had before. These are my M-Audio Studio File 3s, I believe they're called. Or, yeah, Studio File. Not Studio File, Audio File. One of the two. They're also three inches off, uh, drivers also. Made for accurate uh, musical reproduction and not made for, like, really bassy or any other type of music. It's got a flat EQ curve. Um, and this is the microphone. I have had this for a long time. I have long since worn off the silk screen name. So I don't know what the name of it is, but this is what I'm talking on right now and it works perfectly fine. Good microphones don't need to be replaced. Just changed out for a more appropriate situation. So uh, I also have some dynamic microphones in my drawer and some lapel mics and all that stuff uh, for various reasons. But uh, this is the microphone with the pop screen filter that has a hole in it. Uh, I think I was smoking a cigarette <laughs> and burned that. Anyways, here's my Heretic Evo Buy. Oh, I didn't buy it. I got it for free from my carrier uh, for searching carriers. It's a Lumia 640. Great hardware. The OS is okay, but it's not Android. <laughs> Um, so here is uh, at the top or a closer look at the Cooler Master Hyper 212. If you own a computer and you're on a budget, this is not even a discussion. Buy it. Buy it now. And here are some various boxes or bins, plastic bins with just all the stuff that comes in the boxes that you'll never use. or And then all those extra wires that you have. That's years of just stuff. My wife hates this stuff. <laughs> here is... Uh, computer my 12 year old son built from parts that I've had laying around that's an old I think ATI graphics card it's inside of an HP it's a Frankenstein project uh, here's an old Dell monitor it's not even 1080 I don't even think it's 720 which is good so he doesn't have to push the, that resolution on that graphics card uh, so he made it himself uh, I mean gotta be proud of that and of course it runs Ubuntu Linux uh, with the XFCE desktop. Here is the back of my computer case, and of course, it's not clean. There's no wire management. It's probably not going to be on pit my setup. But uh, this power supply right here, and I spent hundreds of dollars water cooling in hopes to get the quietness, get quiet. And, but this power supply makes so much noise. And here is the various. Uh, camera gear things I have this is the camera bag here's some lenses uh, I need an adapter to put those wide-angle lenses on my on my camcorder but anyways Xbox controller ignore the, the cigar because there but sometimes you got to just have a cigar but this is the controller I use for games that support controllers anyways that is a quick 2015 tour of my setup uh, hopefully you enjoyed that if you got anything to say about it you know where to leave it down in the comments and if you like it hit that big thumbs up button if you dislike it you can go yourself I mean you can go hit the dislike button and once again this is Osiris and I'm out <laughs>